is day 11 and it is day 11 this time don't know what happened yesterday I forgot where I was uh, I might be about to make a tragic mistake but there's a walk from Oak Spring to Springvale that we did the other way once with me and the boys and Rachel I'm going to try and do it again it could be very muddy I don't remember exactly where it goes other than it's through the woods so let's give it a go just heading along the main road in Oak Spring just going to head down past the if you can hear me over the wind of the car just going to head down past the the wire factory the wire plant down underneath get another viaduct which is still working you still get trains going across this you see on a semi-regular basis you can actually hear them all the way back down where we live in the, in the horns so we're just heading down past the wire place to these immaculate lawns best hand kept lawns in there uh, in Oak Spring. So let's head down here and we're going to go through through to the woods and head down to Springvale that way. It does get me thinking when I'm out on these walks with like the, the viaduct up here and where we went with the train lines yesterday uh, a couple of days ago through the tunnel on the trail. And the fact the trail itself used to be you know a train line that there's all these little touch points of of kind of history and, and an industrial past of of like Penniston and Oxpring and all this area that you kind of don't get when you just drive past in the car. Uh, so like as an example in Oxpring there's a the little place next to the wagon and horses and the, and the car park called the Pinfold where you know there's a couple of like little metal sheep so I'll, I'll do that on another walk and show you and you know and then you ask a question and somebody says oh yeah that's uh that's where they used to keep the, the sheep when they were making the trip from wherever through to Penniston you know to the mills and things and taking the wool sheep for the walls and stuff and it's just all these little tiny little these little tiny little uh, sort of captures of, of the past of the area that say you just don't get when you're in the car anyway I'm probably rambling but I just find it interesting when you're walking around to see these see these little places and we'll see it in the woods when we go through here there's little remnants of something that used to be built there and it's a real it's a real trip to the past that you know, no matter all the craziness that's going on in the world right now you think you know what we're just passing through we're just this little speck of someone will be looking back at 2021 evidence you know in 50 100 years time and it's fascinating what you can see when you're out walking anyway i'm rambling let's actually ramble and walk once again heading down past the river just pretty much the original driver of industrial buildings building next to the river and then it became train lines and now it's roads we're just walking through the woods I'm hoping it ain't gonna get too muddy because I'm not really wearing the right footwear for it today yeah it is very very muddy and I keep sinking so if anybody doesn't hear from me I upload this video last thing I do before I sink into a bog Come get me. Oh crikey, this is oh not good. Alright, I think I have taken a very wrong turn somewhere. But I'm gonna plow on. See if I can get through this little mess. Now kind of went into some thick woods for some reason when actually there's a path there. There's a very exciting bird up there somewhere. Keep going. The river's got much wider at this point. Perhaps as it heads down to Oxpring, eventually ends up coming out of Bowernell. But up here, it's looking very full and fast. See a squirrel up there somewhere, so this will bring us out towards Springvale. Wow, it's like a proper river at this point. Really full. Let's keep going. It is very muddy. A bit of problem. I don't know where I can get past. I need a detour or I'll take some wet feet for the team. Let's go check it out. I think I may take wet feet for the team. Someone across the other side, so first thing happens. 
I fall face first and crack my head, someone will be around. Oh man. I don't know, is this a good move? Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, I made it. Well, I did get super, super wet. Oh well, onwards. Pretty much at Springvale now, I believe. If I go up these steps, I should get onto the road. Leads me out towards Penny's petrol station. So it's not as long as a walk as I thought, but I am super wet now. Time this right, I'm in the right place. And I should be meeting Rachel Brody on the trail across the other side. Let's go see. I'm not where I thought I was, but I'm close enough. We're still coming out in Springvale, so it's all good. Just over at Springvale near the Algo Feeds. This is the way to the trail. Oh no, more mud. So if I get up on here, we should go meet my boy. Aha, the trail. Up on the trail. And look who's there. It's Brody and he's brought his scooter. Walking, 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 walking. Let's hope nothing gets in my way. Hey, what's this? It's a Brody. What are you doing, mister? Hitting me. That wasn't enough walking through a river. Now I've got this little man here trying to kick mud and water at me. Hey, mister. Cheeky monkey. What do you think you do? Hey! Oh, you little monkey. Right, that's it. You're getting a tickling. Come here. <laughs> So, I'm getting my steps in, but this little man down here, what are you doing? You're getting daddy to pull you on the scooter. You're not even scooting. Don't you admit Ow! Ah! What's going on with this weather? But we've got a hailstorm now. Anyway, just got home. <whistles> Two super shout outs for donations today. Uh, Hazel and Derek, thank you so much. Uh, hope you're enjoying it down here, south of the border. Thank you so much for your donation, much appreciated. And Mr. Paul Collis Smith, thank you, sir. Super generous of you. Um, it's nice to know that we've still got some money coming in. So, with the uh, cash donations we've been given as well, we're over £700 now. I've got an idea. If I could make it to £1,000 for the month, because some money on day 11. We've got to get to day 31, so I've got another 20 days to try and raise another £300. That would just be phenomenal if I went for 100 and got to 1000 So anybody that you can share it with, anybody that you have any interest in passing it to, uh, putting it anywhere, just post it on your Facebook. Like, here's this guy I know and he's doing these walks and he's documenting some of it on video. And please, that would be so cool if you could. Uh, so thank you both of you guys, Paul Collis Smith, Hazel and Derek, thank you for your donations today, thank you everybody who's donated so far, and uh, I'll see you for day 12.